An upcoming gear pack has leaked, so let's take a look at that. I want to talk about armor with capes and why they are not in the game. While Ubisoft did tease one in a trailer they released before launch, they also shared an image with a feature that is not in the game yet. But I got some ideas of what it might be. So let's discuss them in this video. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Thanks to Badaboom and Kuan Nirot, we can take a look at an upcoming item pack because the vials were found on the PC. It's called the Wild Boar Set and it's for the Hunter players. So we got some Hunter love, that is good to see. But let's first take a look at the photos Kuan Nirot shared with me of this prehistoric style armor with a lot of bones on the chest and the arms. I like the helmet the most with the cool horns but overall I'm just not a huge fan of this style of armor but I do think that the execution is great for if you are into it. I'm more a fan of the underbite weapon that looks a lot like a longsword from Monster Hunter or something like that with the teeth from a huge beast. And no, I did not read the description of the weapon before making that guess. That reads, torn from the jaw of a great beast, these jacked teeth do just as much damage now as they did in the creature's mouth. Sounds like a creature that is not in the game but that I do want to fight. Anyway, it's a heavy bladed weapon, we find extra damage versus animals and I'm not a big fan of that perk because it then immediately makes his weapon worse when not fighting against an animal, something you will be doing most of the time. We also got the plus 50% crit damage but minus 10% crit chance legendary perk that is not that good right because crit chance is more important than crit damage so having the minus crit chance is pretty bad it's better to just have the crit damage without sacrificing the crit chance as well but yeah let's wait with the review till this pack is out and i think it will be released not this tuesday but the week after that so february 5th because as i mentioned in a previous video it seems like ubisoft wants to release these packs every other week now looking at the release timing of the previous packs while before they were at like a three week even four week week release schedule but yeah early impression not that good it's also that ubisoft is now focused on crit damage and crit chance with these packs like the set bonus from this wild boar set is 20 percent crit chance increase and we saw that with the athena pack for assassin abilities and now it's for hunter abilities so you bet that we get a warrior set with this set bonus as well and it's just kind of boring, like not that exciting. I would love to see them add new perks we haven't seen before that really have you play differently. Like with the full health perks that you really have to be full health all the time to deal the most damage. So you might play around that. A good example is the Nemi Alliance set that only has full health perks like on the gear. So you really have to play it that way. And it's also hard to get that sort of perk on all your epic gear. So it's a pretty unique legendary set that I just hope to see more of because yes the crit chance is nice but it's just boring and there's a horse called wild boar of course it would have been awesome to ride an actual boar but yeah i understand that they did not do that on the other hand we have the bull now of course so everything should be possible no, but this horse looks pretty nice if you dig that style with the skull hat. It's just not really for me, but I will wait with my vinyl verdict until I really get my hands on it myself. And of course, we'll do a review of the full pack and look at the stats of each individual gear item as well when the pack is out. Again, I think February 5th. And on that day, my search for the Hades Lieutenants will be harder because of the Artemis Lieutenants, who will also be added to the Olympian Gift or of course the Helix Store. Looking pretty awesome with the familiar face paint and the crown, but does she have a cape? Like, it looks like it, right? And that's another topic that I wanted to discuss, because it's weird that we don't have a cape in the game yet, especially since the trailer had one, like Alexios is wearing the mercenary outfit here, then the Achilles set, the Greek hero set, the arena fighter set, and bam, the Spartan war hero set. Well, kind of right, because it has some similarities like the same helm, but an upgraded chest with a cape that I really want. There's even a big statue that you could buy as well that has the same set with a cape too. So where's this armor set in the game Ubisoft? It's really weird that in the trailer they show this armor set. This was shown at E3 2018. 
but this set is not in the game. Maybe they plan to add it later, I mean that can happen, they showed Argas in the launch trailer for Odyssey as well, while it was of course not in the game at launch, he just launched a couple of days ago. Or maybe they planned to add this set, but had some issues like with the cape, that it would clip through too many things, or that with the wind it would not really work. Something like that, I don't know. We actually do have an enemy in Odyssey though with a cape. I got reached out by CR2 who really said that he wanted the armor that one of the ancients is wearing in the second episode of the Legacy of the First Blade. Like I haven't seen this armor in the game at all so maybe Ubisoft will add that later too. So yes, you fight this ancient on the sea but can of course choose to board his ship and they will like see him standing there fighting you. And there we also see my kind of worry with this type of gear because it's like clipping all over the place with items going through the cape easily. So that might be the reason why we don't see it but it's still interesting that this character does have a cape though. I can just tweet the official Assassin's Creed account about this upgraded Spartan War Hero armor and ask if we ever get it in the game. Like, let's do that. I will share a link to that tweet in the pinned comment under this video. So go there and follow me of course on Twitter if you haven't already and then like the tweet as well. So. Ubisoft is aware that we are interested in this awesome armor set. That should have been in the game at launch, I mean they're advertising with it. Maybe they still plan to add it, when we know more I will of course let you know here on the channel. What if, and I thought about this while making this video, what if this is the Abomination armor set that we are supposed to get when the hard mode versions of the mythical creatures get released? Not really out of the realm of possibilities right, although Abomination armor does not really like match with what we see here. Another option is that this might be inspired by the Dark Steel armor because that is the thing like most of the cool and remarkable hats in this game have a legendary version as well. Like the Ancient King epic armor set was a way to already dress up like the Agamemnon sets that we would get later on in the game. But yeah, nothing is tied to this dark steel armor. Well, it kind of looks like an abomination a little bit, like with the big face. Okay, okay, maybe too much speculation here. I really don't know what the Abomination set will be like. I, of course, hope that it will be like a completely new set inspired by the mythical creatures, just like the Anubis outfit from Origins, because that is still one of my favorite outfits in that game. So really hope that we get something like that. I can't wait to see the set. Maybe in the February content video that they tease it there if they are planning to launch the hard mode bosses in February. I would not be surprised if we saw them in February. They should at least be coming soon now that Argas is out. Just like another new feature that Ubisoft already teased in an image or well teased Maybe it slipped under the radar just like the three new abilities from the Legacy of the First Blade. Like they planned to tease the mastery levels but also showed three new abilities. We of course now already have two if you have the season pass or bought the Legacy of the First Blade. But still need to get the warrior one that can also be upgraded two times. Anyway, going to the picture that I want to discuss right now because this was supposed to show the level scaling feature but also showed a so-called story mode that of course did not come with the 1.12 update that added the level scaling. So what the heck can this be? Good to note that the Kotaku editor-in-chief asked Ubisoft and got a no comment response. So they don't want to talk about this yet. Many on Reddit are speculating that this might be a mode that turns off the choices and lets you experience the story as it's meant to be. Something more true to the previous AC games, but I just find it hard to believe that that is something you can then toggle off in the menu if you want to have the choices again. Like that sounds more like something that you select from the start and then cannot switch back to. I mean, if you played the whole game without the story mode and then turn this feature on and already have a completely different story compared to what you would have gotten if you played with the story mode from the start it just seems weird i think this might be for the discovery tour that in odyssey instead of having a completely separate mode you can switch to the story mode and have the enemies suddenly not attack you anymore that was of course a big thing from the discovery tour that you were just like free to go everywhere without having a combat encounter and then you learn more about the stories of greece instead by doing guided tours and stuff like that. So instead of this being a separate mode, they just implant it into the main game and then you can switch freely whenever you want. I'm of course curious to hear what you think in the comments down below, so let me know what you think this story mode is. But yeah, we should have an answer one day 
because this at least a feature that they are testing internally right now pretty interesting stuff when we know more i will of course let you know here on the channel so totally subscribe for everything as a screen odyssey if you haven't already like this video to support the channel and now let's get to our favorite npc in the game sargon because he has something that i want but cannot get while other people have more luck so let's check it out yes sargon there we are again sorry if my voice is a little bit crappy i don't know what i got but it's still not fully recovered so hopefully that will be soon now let's try our luck and see if we can open one Olympian gift. Come on, come on, come on. An epic. I mean, I got so many epics in a row already. Like the last time, I, I can't even remember. I think I got a, a a blue item the last time. That was really like a week ago or maybe even longer. Anyway, Athena embraces Hunter and it says in damage. No, I don't need that at all, Zargon. So yeah, you know what that means. You know what that means. You're gonna swim, man. You're gonna swim. Let's hope the other guys are still there. I don't think so. I think they... <laughs> they disappear at some point. Well, you go there. Hope you have a good one. Okay, that was it. Thanks a lot for watching, of course. Subscribe for everything Odyssey. If you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you know when a new video is uploaded. Like the video to support the channel and check out my previous video on a DLC episode 2 change that Ubisoft will do in the future. And I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.